Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So if you're new to this channel, hi, I'm Rebecca. But if you're already subscribed, welcome back. As you can see from the title below today, I'll be showing you guys what's in my bag, clinical school edition. So if you're new here, I'm a fourth year medical student in Malaysia and I'm right now in my clinical phase of medical school. Previously, when I was in my preclinical phase of medical school, I also did a what's in my bag video, but a lot of things have changed. That's why I'm doing an upgraded version. I'm super excited to film this video because it has been such a long time since I dream of doing this. Ever since I entered medical school, whenever I type what's in my bag medical school edition on YouTube, it's always a clinical school edition. And I always thought that it would be so fun for me to film my own as well. And I'm finally doing Super excited to show you guys what I have in my clinical school bag. Before I open my bag and let you guys see what's inside, don't forget to click the subscribe button down below since you're already here. It's free and it will mean a lot to me. This is my clinical bag. I use this every single day. This is from Longshan. I don't know how to pronounce it. I googled on how to pronounce this brand but I give up because it's so hard. I purposely bought this bag because I want a bag that could fit everything. This is a long sham dark purple size M. The size is just perfect and the depth of it is also perfect. Very durable. Like I haul this everywhere and it's still perfect. Okay, so let me show you guys what's inside. So this is how the bag looks like once you open it up. I bought this grey bag compartment from Shopee. I bought this grey bag compartment because it gives structure and shape to the bag. It wouldn't be like very flimsy. And also it helps to organize my stuff because I can get really really messy. Okay, so let's start off with the most heavy stuff in my bag. My iPad. Nowadays I've been using my iPad a lot. Everything is in here. That's why I bring them with me everywhere I go. I don't bring my laptop anymore. It's a white iPad with a pretty baby pink cover and if you look at the bag over here it's transparent so that's what i really like about it the bag actually i have stickers and also notes this is from my friend and this is from my sister the reason why i turn it over is because i don't want people to read it it means so much to me that i decide to put it at the back of my ipad because i bought my ipad online i get to engrave it i decided to engrave it with my name and one of my favorite quote which is one step at a time these are random books that I have in my bag. The books that I have in my bag really depends on what posting am I in. Currently, I'm in my psychiatry posting. That's why you can see I have a psychiatry book over here. It's a notebook. So this notebook is for me to do my CSSC or clinical skills session notes. Before I go for a session, if I have the time to do so, I will do some notes based on the session. This is my ophthalmology notes. Uh, basically, how to take a good ophthalmology history. Yes, that's it. Dr. Anand's emergency medicine. Previously, was in my surgical posting. Pretty new, guys. I was super busy in semester 6 with some other stuff. So, I couldn't really like study, study properly for semester 6. That's why it's like pretty new. The last book that I have in my bag right now is the DSM-5 for psychiatry posting. So if you're curious on what is DSM-5, it's basically like the diagnostic criteria for mental disorders. If you can see over here, there are a lot of different kinds of disorders and for each disorder, you will have diagnostic criteria. Just so that it will be standardized for all psychiatrists around the world. This is an example of substance-induced disorder. Alcohol, caffeine, Cannabis. I just chose to buy this book just so that it will be easier for me to refer to. Yeah. Next up in my bag is my reliable and beautiful stethoscope from MDF. So if you guys have been following me since day one of medical school, you will be so used to this already because this is my one and only stethoscope. This is the MDF 777 Rose Gold Stethoscope. Ever since I entered clinical school, this is a must have for me every single day. Like I don't ever take it out. So yeah, this is my stethoscope. I have my keys. Ta -da! First one over here is my house key. I hung this very cute Elsa keychain from Disneyland. My car key. If you guys are wondering like where in the world is the buttons to like TikTok your car, I dropped it. All haywire right now. I don't even want to try to repair it. Just hung this YSL keychain. I find that it looks very chic. 
and nights. Next, I have this power bank from Yaobao. This is another essential for my clinical bag because I don't know how long will I be out. Okay, next, I have my lanyard. So, I'm not sure if you guys have seen like my ID clear up. But this is how I look. I got this photo taken when I first entered IMU for my foundation in science. So, this is very, very outdated sucks that they don't let you change your picture if you want to change your picture can but you have to pay 50 ringgit i'm so reluctant to do so i'm like you know what no one's gonna see my id now i'm showing it to you guys but i just have to bear with it for another one and a half years and bye guys i didn't know that i have a bunch of pants inside my bag what the heck this is clinical school life so basically over here i have the g soft w zac 0.55 pens i got one in blue and one in black so this was actually recommended by my friend and it's super comfortable to use and it's super cheap as well my next favorite pen would be this faber castle true gel and it's 0.5 as well and then over here i have no idea why i got two pen torch okay i don't think this is working yeah this is not working anymore oh actually this is the white light and this is the yellow light so basically this is for me to shine to your eyes shine to your nose shine to your ears shine to your mouth shine whatever i don't think you guys can see it but basically it's to test your pupillary constriction and dilation you can see my pupils constricting i don't think so but let's have a look at my eyes Am I even doing this? I have no idea why am I even doing this. Next up, -da! this is my tendon hammer. I use this a lot when I was in semester 6 because we had surgery, internal med and also family medicine. So we use this a lot to test for your reflexes. Could be your biceps reflex, knee reflex, tricep reflex. By doing this test, you can differentiate whether it's like an upper motor neuron lesion or a lower motor neuron lesion. Upper motor neuron lesion means there's something wrong in your brain. Low motor neuron lesion means that the nerves that are coming out from your, like, your spinal cord has a problem. So yeah. Next up is a pouch from YSL. Let's see what I have inside. I think this is just like mixture of stuff. Yep. So this is just like random stuff that I have in the pouch. Okay, so let's see what I have. I have three different lipsticks. So this is where you've been. So the lipsticks that I have in my bag really depends on what lipstick am I using on that particular day. So the first lipstick that I have is from Rare Beauty. This is in the code INSPIRE. Next, I have two Jojo Armani lipsticks. Whenever I want to feel a little bit extra, I will reach out for this. So this is in the code 415 but if i want to look more natural this is the perfect nude for my everyday makeup this is in the code 202 next i have two hand sanitizer duh it's the covid pandemic so obviously i have to have hand sanitizers on hand i love that all that all's my favorite you want to sponsor me that all's my favorite but it's a little bit pricey so i'm very very like good good with the usage of it a hair tie that i bought from bangkok i have no idea why i have this but this is the stomach smoother tea i think i was having like tummy ache or something but yeah i have a tea bag i don't know why i have this medication in my bag but it's loperamide the last thing that i have in my bag is another pouch if you guys have watched my previous what's in my bag video you guys would have seen this pouch and you would know what is it it's a medication bag so inside of this bag i have tons of medication just because i like to have medications on hand so the first medication i have in my bag is loratadine so if you can see over here i have only three left more loperamide why rebecca got daddy or don't bet it on guys what in the world don't bet it on i don't know your girl got some vomiting slash diarrhea issues Panadol Yo, I think this has been here for such a long time I think it's time for me to throw Oh no no, it's expiring in April 2022 This is the oral rehydration salt This is Panadol Soluble Then next one, I got Lens Wet Wipe from Haiti Lao Hot Pot National Blood Center Cut 
It's been such a long time since I went to donate my blood. I am B positive. And that's it guys. We have come to the end of the video. I have so much fun filming this video for you guys. It has been such a long time since I wanted to do this video. So don't forget to click the subscribe button down below and give this video a thumbs up. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys. Merry Christmas and happy holidays. Bye.